Hello everyone, I'm the Realization Lion. Today for our first lesson using the microbit, we will be implementing variables to make a simple timer. If you're not familiar with variables, I would suggest you to watch the video in our channel that covers the programming concepts of variables. To start off this simple project, you will need to go to a website called themicrobit.org. If you do not have a microbit with you, do not worry. For your lesson today, we will be using a simulator to preview the outcome. So click on Let's Code. Scroll down to look for the Make Code Editor. Now click on Let's Code in this section and you will arrive to the project homepage. This page is used to keep all your past projects that have been made. Now since we have not made anything yet, click on New Project. So in this working space, you will see a microbit simulator on the left and on the right is your development space. You will notice there is two important blocks, the on block and the forever block. So let me explain what they are for. For the on block, it is to run one time when the microbit starts. The other block is called the forever block which will be running until the microbit is being turned off. If you want something to keep running, you will need to place it in that block. So to create a timer, we must have a variable. Click on the word variables on the left of the development space. You will notice a menu appears. Now click on the button make a variables. You will now see a pop-up. We will need to give this variable a name since we are creating it to store the time. We will call it time. You will now notice that more items appear in that menu. Let's use the block set time to zero to initialize the time as zero. Since it will be run once, let's drag it to the on start block. However, it will not be displayed on the LED unless you command it. So next, in order to display it, you will need to click on the word basic and look for show number block. Now go back to the variable menu, look for the time block, drag it into the show number block to replace the zero. You will now see the value of time being displayed on the microbit simulator. To make the time update every second, go to the basic menu item look for the pause block drag the block into the forever block by default it is set to 100 milliseconds to make it wait for one second click on the down arrow on the right of this number and you will be able to choose one second you will notice it becomes 1000 milliseconds this is because one second is equivalent to 1000 milliseconds. Next, you need to find the block change time by one in the variable menu items. Now, drag it into the forever block just below the pause block. This will allow it to change variable every one second. However, it will not display the change. You can select the show number block in the on start block. Right click to see the option menu, choose duplicate to make a copy of it, drag it below the change time by one. Now observe the simulator. You will see the LED updates by one every second. So that's it. You have learned to use variable on a microbit to make a timer today. If you like this video, do click on subscribe buttons below to stay tuned to our upcoming episode. Do look forward to our next video to learn about programming. This is the Realization Lion. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon.